grant me my end. Impossible. This primitive creature has defeated our forces! Yes. Twice now. The rules are simple. Reapers for combat, honorary reapers if needed. Run on brutal. Sudden strike gives me the boys with mines. And as you know, blowing shit up is what reapers are for. I also get jetpack Nova, but to challenge myself, I put her in timeout since there's no air attacks on this mission. To get extra gas and minerals, I use the expert tactic of leeching off Matt's forces. While I build up packs of reapers and spam spider mines in the canyons. Obviously, I can't beat the Zerg alone, but with the expert tactic of letting my ally get punched in the face, I focus down priority targets like banelings and defilers. With the lines collapse with the expert tactic of stuffing reapers and bunkers, I hold until time runs out. Enemy intelligence ain't truly doable. Unfortunately, I'm forced to use Jetpackless Nova in the last chunk of the mission. I also gotta stuff these disgusting not-reapers into buildings, but in the spirit of the run, I'll avoid using them for combat. Anyways, there's air attacks later in the mission, so it's Jetpack Nova time. Using the expert tactic of rushing the Reaper garrisons with Nova, I stock my boys in them to help whittle attack waves. Obviously, I gotta keep an eye out for air attacks, but otherwise, Jetpack Nova does most of the work while my boys get punched in the face by Ultras. Trouble in Paradise is gonna be a doozy. I only get Jetpack Nova to destroy the Zerg hatcheries, meaning I can only take out two at the most before time runs out. Since the Taldarim don't have scans, I keep my Reapers cloaking to keep them alive. To push, I use the expert tactic of letting Nova do all the work as I build up my Invisi Reapers, allowing them to mow down Zerg attacks. Time is tight since I have to rush the hatcheries and fleet beacon in between shield batteries, but Nova and the boys push through. To deal with Protoss attacks, I use one-way jetpacks. To deal with Jannara, I use the expert tactic of hiding in the Zerg base and running away. Surprisingly, it works. Fun fact, Death of the Grim Reaper at Castlevania often serves as Dracula's second-in-command and is his most trusted lieutenant, except in the Netflix series. Anyways, in the games, he was born from chaos, which came from the evil in people. Whenever old Vlad kicks the bucket, Death is always there to bring him back. His main armaments are the usual scythe, as well as floating sickles that can be summoned. While he resists dark energy, he's weak to holy weapons. Night Terrors is gonna suck. I only got Jetpack Nova and my boys against infested Banshees, Aberrations, and the entire Protoss arsenal. Sounds doable. To push, I use the expert tactic of letting Jetpack Nova do all the work while my Reapers provide moral support. To stop Jannara from doing the do, I use one-way jetpacks to clear each area. To access each device, I surround them with Invisi Reapers while using Nova to take out enemy Banshees. As the mission progresses, the amount of Aberrations and Banshees increases. Since Nova's the only uncloaked unit, they focus on her, so I stuff my boys into bunkers to draw fire, buying me enough time to end the mission. Flashpoint is gonna be a slog. I gotta blow things up while my base gets hit with a hundred tons of Zerg. Obviously, Reapers and Bunkers fend off the attacks while Jetpack Nova does most of the work. Since Reapers suck against Ultras and Splash, I prioritize those first and eventually take out the enemy air force as well. To speed things up, I send the boys to give Nova moral support, allowing me to push to the end. And the enemy shadow only gives me jetpack Nova. In the spirit of the run, I make her as sneaky as possible, giving her the shotgun to blast her way through the mansion. Obviously, most of the mission consists of me expertly running away from my problems, and the boss fight with Stone is pretty much the same. Fun fact, Death and Sandman is a member of the Endless, who are representations of natural forces like desire or despair. Death is the second oldest of the bunch and is more cheery than in other depictions. She oversees both birth and death and guides people to the afterlife. In the past, she was more detached, but grew to appreciate mortals after living and dying as one. Dark Skies is gonna be a doozy. I only have Jetpack Nova and the boys against the entire Death Fleet. Sounds doable. While I send squads of Invisi Reapers to each garrison, enemy observers show up halfway through the mission. With the amount of void rays, my allies can't hold out. So I use honorary Reaper Jump Jet Goliaths who proceed to suck. So I use honorary Jump Jet Siege decks, supporting my allies from afar. To deal with void rays, Wrathwalkers, and Jannara, I use one-way jetpacks to clear them out. 
Alderine break through, but my boys hold on, ending the mission. End game is batshit insane. I only got Jump Jet Nova and Reapers to fight a powerful mech. Sounds doable, it's not doable. So I use honorary Jump Jet Goliath to support my army. Pushing with the Iberian and lucking out with the lanes it attacks, I secure an expansion to keep up Reaper and Goliath production. As the mission progresses, my Reapers stop being useful, so I transition to Mass Goliath. With resources running out, I make a dash for the Xanthos. While triggering the final fight, I use the expert tactic of running away from my problems as I slowly whittle the Xanthos down and destroy it, and in the mission. Fun fact, Death in Marvel was born at the start of the universe. While she has no physical form, she can still appear under various guises, and interestingly, she has quite the variety of suitors, ranging from Thanos the Mad Titan himself to Deadpool of all people. In fact, to keep the two from hooking up, Thanos once cursed Wade with not dying. You obviously can't beat this with Reapers only. The first mission doesn't give me any Reapers, and I have to use these disgusting non-Reapers in enemy intelligence. A total of five missions can be done with Reapers in Jetpack Nova. If we include missions with honorary Reapers, this increases to 7 out of 9, 77%. For Wings of Liberty, 18 out of 29 missions can be done with Reapers. For Art of the Swarm, it's 14 out of 20. For Legacy of the Void, it's 18 out of 25, which leaves a grand total of 62 out of 83, 75%. Now, if I add in the Evo missions, none of which are doable, the grand total drops to 62 out of 90, 69%. Nice. Remember, St. Patrick's Day. Shoutouts to Time, Clandis Marino, Happy Acre, Jen Tuong, Scott Replinger, and Michael Phillips. You all have big guns. Also, subscribe or forever hold your pee. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and use flying tanks to beat alien war mechs. You have my soul. I love my soul. And my heart. You shall be the fellowship of the ring. Right. Where are we going?